Good morning. So, I am just ready to do my highlight. Look at these roots. I do have some grey in it, so... But yeah, this is unacceptable. It's about that much. So, it's almost like two inches. Oh, I tell you, I'm dreading it so much. I'm not going to film it because it's stressful enough as it is. I filmed the first one, so I leave you the link if you want to see it. I did the did, did it in lockdown, my um, highlights, and yeah, it was a nightmare. Especially that I was filming downstairs, you know, I had to put big mirror behind me, it was a nightmare. So I'm doing it in my bathroom and my bathroom is too small really to set up a camera anywhere. I think I am maybe going to be a bit better this time. I don't know, but I'm dreading it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do probably my sides, obviously this and few at the back and that's the worst thing and also depending how my highlights come up near the scalp because you know sometimes if you're not experienced or not hairdresser at all if you go too close to your scalp which I like to do because you know my hairdresser does it so well but obviously I don't the bleach swells and can leak out from the um foil and then you get these big splotches near your scalp or like zebra stripes so if that happens i will do the shadow root you know it's when you use darker color and just tap your roots so the only thing is it looks like you already have a root but it's much nicer it gives you that um seamless transition from the dark to light instead of this you know hash line so depending how well i do i might have to do the root tap this is going to be all day affair right <laughs> i'm just talking to you because i'm trying to put it off but i have to go and do it okay just the top is finishing to process i had to take the sides off now because i put them in first so they were ready but i wanted to show you what i mean by zebra stripes can you see where the um bleach obviously leaked so i already know that i will have to do the root tap I'm going to put 7NA, Goldwell Colorance 7NA, which is a natural ash. And it's a bit lighter than my natural hair color. So if I just tap it all around the roots, then it will disguise that stripe. So yes, oh my God, my arms are aching, my legs are aching because I've been standing there for about two hours. It's a nightmare. I really, really don't ever want to do this again. Um, I will put a toner on as well because my, um, my old blonde's gone a bit brassy. So I will put the toner and for toner I use Goldwell Colorant's toner in 10P. So I won't come back today probably to show you because I'm going to be just knackered. I will show you my hair all done tomorrow. Hi my lovelies, good morning. So today is our 22nd wedding anniversary, it's 9th of February. I've just filmed foundation review that I'm wearing but you have already seen it. I know it's confusing so I've just filmed it but you've seen it because obviously I'm vlogging this week and that you will see that next week. So it's our wedding anniversary and Paul really surprised me. We normally don't do anything apart from going for a meal for our anniversary and we might buy each other a card but you know after 22 years you know where you stand. <laughs> so um, 
Yes, but I think he must be so bored in this lockdown that he's decided to surprise me and buy me little funny bits and bobs, which was very sweet and very, very thoughtful. Everything he got, he was so thoughtful and made me feel very bad because I got him nothing. But I got him really good present for his birthday. His birthday was uh, just um, on the 20th of January, so I got him a good present. <clears throat> anyway, I still feel bad about it, but you know, I will have to think of something. So, um, he got me this card, it's handmade, he obviously looked for it because it's got real copper heart on it. And then when I was, so he brought it all to bed this morning and um, there was this flat box and he said, you know, just pull that um, lip on one side and this thing popped out from it with lots of confetti and it was this box there is a picture of us I don't know if this is from mom pig it's called Bumf. and so there's a picture of us and he says wifey for lifey happy anniversary thank you for loving me oh and he says happy anniversary pixie looking forward to another 22 years uh, he calls me Pixie, so whenever I get a birthday card or whatever, it's always Pixie. And if I give him a card, I always um, sign it Pixie. It's a long story while he calls me a Pixie. I won't bore you with that. Then I got this beautiful hard box with chocolates and roses. They are foam roses. And I immediately thought I will eat the chocolates tonight. And I will keep these for DIY <laughs> and the box. Um, then he got me this wine glass with my name on it. I don't, I don't think this is copper. This is stainless steel and it's just um, copper plated, I suppose. Because I do like my wine. I've never drank wine from stainless steel glass. We will try tonight. <laughs> And then he got me these two Moscow Mule copper, real copper mugs. So you drink the Moscow Mule cocktail in it. Came with the straws and a nice big size measuring cup because it's Russian. Uh, because the Mule, Moscow Mule cocktail, I think is vodka and ginger beer. So you need a generous amount of vodka, just like in Poland, uh, ice and ginger beer. So the, these are really, really pretty. Copper is very much like rose gold, isn't it? So if you love that um, sort of thing. So it's all copper. And then he got me this. I love it. Let me read you what that is because it came with a little story to it by the way it says on here you are my rock 22 years so this is a rock gift and it says after hundreds of years washing around the atlantic ocean the rock we used washed up here on church cove in cornwall uk it was picked up in july 2017 and this rock was chosen due to its unique shape it looks like a cloud and it can stand like this, you know. The chosen rock was taken back to our work workshop, a mold was made and an exact replica was made from solid metal ready to be packaged and given as a gift. So this is made out, out of the mold of that rock. Uh, there is actually a picture here of the exact rock and then the... Um, this one and it is really solid it's so heavy you could do damage so I love it I think it's so beautiful and so thoughtful makes me feel really really bad so wasn't that sweet and thoughtful of him he can be romantic sometimes <laughs> it is snowing right now this week is going to be really really cold what well, it started being cold I think since Sunday uh, we've got the 
beast from the east this cold front coming over and very fine snow but i see it settling down now because yesterday we had a few flurries of, of snow but it, it wasn't settling down uh, it's so freezing i mean it's only like minus one i know like in other parts of the world it's much colder but for uk especially down south this is uh, not that normal i have finished all my craft projects I could have done so many more but you know I had all the materials and everything just lying here every day so whenever I felt like yeah, I could sit down and film it and make it and I and that stresses me out you know I don't like clutter so I've put it all away now but my house is basically decorated for Easter now <laughs> It's very much spring, even there is snow outside. My house is full on spring. So I was so inspired by all these spring Easter colors that I think I want to dress as an Easter egg now. Uh, so you know I've been um, ordering all these different sweatshirts because we're doing the slobby chic right now because we are not going anywhere. We want something pretty colorful and comfortable. I went mental. I've ordered so much stuff and most of it is going back. I've ordered a lot of um, pretty knitwear that was in lovely colours. I kept some of it but a lot of it, it annoys me so much. Everything is cropped these days or very short. I mean like short to your belly button or just past your belly button. I have a little post cesarean kangaroo pouch and I need something to cover it so even though they were so pretty I wouldn't wear them so well there is a couple they were not too bad so a lot of it is going back I'm going to do like a haul of it and try on tomorrow for you uh, because I've already packed some of the stuff that I'm sending back and anyway it was so much that if I was going to show you the, all of it it would be like an hour and what's the point showing you something that wasn't nice I still cannot find lilac top I've ordered so many different lilac sweatshirts and knitwear and they are pretty but it's not the lilac that I want so you know that first lilac sweatshirt that um, I have shown you I sent back because I love the color but I didn't like the style of it and I can't find that sort of lilac anywhere so the search continues I'm like a dog with a bone when I want something I will eventually find it <laughs> so yes I will do that tomorrow for you and I will just show you what I am keeping which is quite a lot but sweatshirts, I love sweatshirts. To be honest, that's all I wear, jumpers or sweatshirts. I sometimes put something nicer if I'm filming um, a video, but you know, I want to be comfortable. I'm at that age that is comfort over fashion now. Oh, my hair. So as you can see, I'm quite happy with my shadow root. I really like that. I don't really I think that's why I always had the dark put in because I don't like the just blonde look you know like it's growing out the blonde is growing out of your scalp but obviously your natural roots when they grow out you can see this clear demarcation line uh, you know where your hair is and when the highlight started and that is what doesn't look so nice I think that's why I like rooted wigs because the root the transition from the root to the blonde is very seamless and that's what you get with doing shadow root so you get like a shadow but as you can see I really overtoned it it's properly gray so it's not as bright but that will wash off so I've got you know like I always do just this two pieces of extensions clipping extension on its side and this is like the more normal blonde that i am so this sort of brightens up a bit i mean this is almost blue but i have this extension bit here that sort of brightens it up a bit 
I think next time I am going proper blonde. My hair goal is I have a Pinterest board with blonde hair and it's this beautiful just bright white pearly blonde with shadow root and um, basically shadow root all over your head so you see the darkness poking out but you don't get the darkness down the bottom that's why i think i don't like about the low lights that i like to have them here near my um, my scalp but i don't like the low lights at the bottom because you know when i pick up my hair my ends are quite dark because it's all the low lights so i think as soon as i'm due for for next hair appointment and I hope by then we will be opened up I will ask my hairdresser to just do me full head of baby highlights and shadow root we will see what that looks like anyway I will see you tomorrow with all my sweatshirts hello my lovelies welcome to my sweatshirts galore <laughs> So um, I am going to try on <laughs> all the sweatshirts that I have. Um, I found a purple one yesterday, very inexpensive on Zalando website I think, but obviously it's not here yet and I think I quite like the, the lilac colour. Right, I hope this is not too bright, it's very sunny today. Um, do you know what? Maybe I go back there because the sun is not shining so much there. Hold on. Yeah, I think this is, this is better. So this is very pale pink and this is Calvin Klein. This is probably the most expensive one that I got. Um, but it's an amazing quality and it's so soft and really lined with that fleecy fabric. So I can't remember. I will try to find them all honestly i've been ordering from so many different places um i have to now send it back to so many different places but i will find them and i will list it all down below um hang on i'm going to just lower it like this so you can see how long they are so it's perfect length i even would turn up the elasticated ribbed um, waist yeah love this one but I also have another pink one I have the Adidas one as you can see it is a bit deeper pink still very beautiful baby pink but a bit deeper and this one is a bit thinner uh, lighter and you might say well Nisha why do you need two pink sweatshirts well what if one of them is in a wash and I want that day to wear a pink sweatshirt I've got another one also like I said this one is much warmer so more for colder days this one is more for spring so I'll try that one on as well sorry they are all crinkled because as you can see I haven't even taken the tags off yet so here is the Adidas one, you can see the same length but it feels a bit less bulky because like I said it's thinner, sorry if the light is changing but the sun is in and out. Um, very lovely again, really good quality, you know it's Adidas so yes, so that's that one, like it so far. Okay, this again beautiful baby blue. This one is from Stradivar Stradivarius, which is their sister or brother of Zara. Um, this one is tiny, tiny bit um, shorter. It has, um, what does it say on here? Hamptons. Hamptons Yacht Sailing Club. Again, love the colour. It's um, much thinner, about like the Adidas one. And I already have a pale blue sweatshirt. You sometimes see me in it. It's very plain, but that one is from Sweaty Betty and it's um, like high and low. It's quite low and straight because it's a most, more of a post-workout uh, sweatshirt, you know, or post-yoga, uh, that sort of thing. But yeah, this one looks fine with jeans. So like the other one, I probably would 
wear more with leggings because it's a bit longer but this is perfect for for leggings okay are you ready for the next one put your sunglasses on Ta -da! <laughs> this is bright bright pink and that's what i mean about um those colors those neon colors and i told you i sewed there is like yellow for everybody there is pink for everyone there is blue for everyone it's just the tone so i i have to wear cool colors so if i had like a mustard yellow i look absolutely awful in mustard yellow it has to be bright like this neon or even pale but in that cool yellow so uh, the same with pinks gosh if i put like a warm pink on look awful absolutely awful so i think you know when these people they do your colors what suits you i think i did like a quiz and i think i came up as cool spring or cool summer one of those but cool okay so this is sort of in between sweatshirt and a top it is like a cotton like a very very light sweatshirt material what does it say here be the change but what i like about it can you see it's got this uh drawstring waist here so you can wear it wherever you want and tighten this string again very soft um very comfortable really really like this one i hope the colors are coming out nicely i won't know till i edit it um because of the blinking sun i'm not complaining i love the sun okay the next one is a hoodie this is from super dry and i love super dry you know my big winter coat black coat is from super dry uh, they they stuff is such good quality and this one is no exception it's really cozy it's quite um, solid heavy and it's got a lot of stretch in it as well and as you can see all the stuff that i have is in size medium or uk12 depends what they come this is medium but as you can see this one is quite fitted so i probably could go even with large and why i'm telling you this because if you like it i got this on amazon i looked on super dry um online store and other stores they sell super dry this sold out everywhere so obviously amazon because amazon sells super dry as well they had some stock left um, but i looked at it the other day and i think the only size they had left now is extra large but if i am uk size 12 and i could easily have the large it would be just a bit more baggy here extra large is probably not that huge so if you were size uk 14 you probably can go for the extra large or 14 or 16 so uh, have a look if you're still there i love the tie-dye tie-dye dye tie tie-dye tie <laughs> um throwback to 80s again but i probably like it because of the colors you see the a bit of, that's the lilac i want you see just like that one uh, so it's got a bit of lilac pink and blue the next two are not sweatshirts so one is um just like a cotton top and one is a jumper okay so this jumper is from max and spencer's i think i went on the website looking for sweatshirts and i've noticed actually that bright colors are going to be really in everything is really bright so i was really happy and i saw this jumper and you know how partial i am to square neck also this color on the website looked a bit brighter like a real apple green but it is not it's more of a 
sagey colour but they had an amazing sale that day everything was on sale and I think I paid £17 for it it is not expensive at full price it's £25 it's really soft really cozy it might be one of these that bubbles a bit I'm not sure but I kept it and um, they did another color they did very pale gray like a cream one I wish they did them in really uh, bright colors because I would get more but this is just so so cozy and for the price it was a steal uh, this is from Warehouse, just a cotton stretchy long sleeve top, but you know I like like cutouts all over the place. That was on sale as well, ridiculous price. So, and they did them in different colours. In fact, do you know what? I still have the Warehouse bags because they were the last to come with all the stuff that I've ordered because the colours are amazing. So maybe I'll just show it to you just in case you want to go and check it out uh, because I've ordered so many bright colors so let me go and get that okay so this is one of the jumpers from warehouse I absolutely love the shape of it the color of it but look how short it is so my belly button is here and obviously if I lift my arms it goes a bit higher and then because it's quite um, fitted, it's not tight, it's very stretchy. Um, but if I like wear well, jeans that are a tiny bit lower, then all my rolls will show. And I really, really love it. But I would love it more if it was a bit longer and maybe more blouseoned here, if you know what I mean. But uh, yeah the color is gorgeous i really hope this because when i look at my little screen it looks very washed out yellow and it's um hang on it's a very bright yellow i also got one like this in white but i show you some colors that uh, this they had this really bright blue but i think this blue might be a bit too warm for me this is just a plain shall i just show you look at that green look at this green let me put that one on as well because this is short as well so I am in love with this colour but can you see again how short it is and it's so annoying because I would have definitely kept it. It's a very nice thin knitwear, perfect for spring but look at it how short it is and I can cope with it but I am afraid that if I don't feel that comfortable in it knowing that it's short I probably won't wear it. Um, I think I saw so the blue one that I've shown you was exactly like this they also do one like this in lovely pink in this pink so this is exactly the same what I'm wearing this is size medium um, I've ordered some like doubles like I ordered this one in large and yeah it was a bit looser but it just didn't suit it being loose so this meant to be quite fit it yes but i love this color i thought i might as well show you so you see what i mean and then i ordered this lilac jumper which again has a really really nice style with like lovely puffy leaf leaves sleeves can you see so it's got puffy sleeves with quite long um, again lovely but very short so I was so excited to receive these things and the only thing that I kept was that black cutout t-shirt um, they did it in different colors okay and um, also you know I'm nine again would wear red this looks so lovely it's boat neck um, again 
just slightly slightly stretchy cotton but this fabric is horrible but i think this was like on sale for seven pounds or something this fabric is awful i don't like it at all feels more i don't know feels cheap and they did them in different colors and the shape of it is beautiful but the fabric is horrible so yes i keep looking at it i would keep it if it was longer or if i was slimmer and had no bumps like this you know when you sit down and you have this roll of fat so yeah it's short okay let me go and put something on one of my new sweatshirts that i'm gonna wear for the rest of the day today i think i'm going to wear my adidas one I hope you enjoyed this Easter egg inspired sweatshirt haul because <laughs> all the colors are Easter egg colors I told you I went crazy for all the colorful stuff after decorating for Easter which is not for another two months you see how thin my hair is on the sides if I don't put those um, two clipping extensions so the extensions give me a bit of length here and thickness because these sides are just so so thin and you know why that is if you have a mickey mouse forehead like me means that it goes like this so if you imagine people they have hair growing properly here look how much more hair i would have on the side if my hairline was normal you know like people have quite small foreheads and and their hairline goes lovely round not mickey mouse style <laughs> that's why i have so little hair and it also gets so damaged because it's so fine i, I keep like trimming it do you know in, in my next haircut proper haircut because i told you paul cut my hair again at the back <laughs> about an inch I think I'm going to chop it much shorter like about here because I need to get rid of um, these damaged ends okay I'm going to go and do my ironing now I think I will finish this vlog here because I think with the hole it might be very long I know I said that every time and you say every time you don't mind it but I get very conscious about that and it gives me anxiety <laughs> so I try not to have my videos longer than 30 minutes it's very very difficult it takes a lot of cutting out of me just blabbing on <laughs> all right my lovelies have a wonderful week I will see you in my next video stay fabulous bye